Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. It is already December. We are still in home quarantine. I mean, we're still on self-imposed lockdown and the year's gone by so fast. I know I always say this every time we have a new favorites video about how fast time is flying by, but it's so true. And especially now that I have a baby, I feel like time is flying by even faster because I see Scotty develop so fast. He's growing so fast. Every day is new and he develops new skills every single day. So I just feel like Every day I'm running and running and running. And next thing you know, tapos na yung year. It's already Christmas. It's gonna be Scotty's first Christmas with the Sky Fam um, and his first Christmas ever. We're so excited. I know a lot of us are still kind of not feeling the Christmas spirit. Me then, I'm not feeling Christmas spirit so much. But today we're gonna be talking about things that at least brighten our month brighten our days, help us cope with the situation we're having right now. With that being said, if you guys want to know what products I've been loving for the past month and also how I get myself to feel a little bit Christmassy this time of year, um, please do keep on watching. All right guys, the first thing I'm going to be talking about is something that I've had in my closet for a really long time now. If you guys are avid followers, then you will know that I actually did a full review of these items, but now I just kind of took them out again and realized how much I actually love using them. They are the Sunnies from Bolan. Now, I don't really wear makeup if I don't have to film, but I still need to shoot. I still need to like kind of look presentable, but I'm too lazy to wear makeup, especially now that I have a baby and there's less time for me to glam up, less time for me to take time for myself. I love wearing these color tinted glasses. I feel like black sunnies are too dark. These ones are the perfect way to kind of make you feel a little bit more glam without the effort of putting makeup on. When I went to the beach a few days ago, I used a different version of this. I can't find it right now. I think I packed it somewhere, but I have like so many different ones from Bolan and these are definitely a favorite. Like I'm trying to look at myself from behind the camera. There's a mirror. And I love how it looks. Like next time I have a photo that I need to share with you guys and I'm too lazy to wear makeup, you will see me wearing these because they just instantly make me look glammed up without the effort. Like look at this. Instantly like cute <laughs> And I think these really help if you have, well you can't wear it for Zoom meetings but for my kind of job where you have to look presentable all the time, if you are taking photos or taking videos, these are definitely gonna help. Next thing that I've been absolutely loving the past month is this Take A Layer Blush from Beauty MNL. I mean, it's from 3C, but I got it at Beauty MNL. And the last time I did a vlog, you guys would have seen this because I swatched it and wore it on that same vlog and I'm wearing it today. Let me put some on right now so you guys can see. I love the color. I love the subtleness of it how natural it looks, especially if you're not wearing any makeup. Today, I am wearing makeup, but if I'm not wearing makeup, this just looks like second skin. It's so good. I remember that when I was still hanging out with my blogger besties a lot, a lot of them were using already this product. I just didn't want to buy it because I had so many blushes already, but I'm glad that I made the purchase because this is really cool, especially now that I don't wear makeup a lot. I just put some cheek tint on and automatically I feel like I'm fresh. So this is in the shade Cabbage Rose and I really like it. Next favorite of mine is a Scotty favorite and I always include baby favorites in my favorites video because obviously 80% of my day is with Scotty and when we find a product that both of us love playing with, it's definitely going into my favorites list because a happy baby is a happy mommy. And now this mat I got from Bao Bao Babies. I will put the name of the mat or the brand of the mat down in the description box below and where you can find it. The reason why I love this mat so much is because when your baby gets to about six months, I think, well, this is how Scotty is, he becomes more and more curious and he likes to take things apart, rip things apart and stuff like that. This mat is sewn together. It just comes in three different panels. So you just fold it up if you're not using it. It doesn't really take up so much space and it's not so hard to put back on the ground 
if you need to play with it. And now that we are battling with this flea problem here in the sky pod, actually, I don't know if we're still battling with it because I'm still covered up. See, socks and leggings. Every single day, I'm gonna wear this until next year just to be sure. I didn't put back the play mat in Scott's room because I want it to be easy to vacuum. I want it to be easy to steam clean. We still vacuum and steam clean daily just to be sure. And so this mat has been a godsend because you can easily just fold it up, put it on the side, vacuum, steam clean, put it back on the floor. Super duper easy. Now guys, if you hear um, some background noises, like some nursery rhymes or padding, that's Scotty playing this yaya outside. So I'm sorry for that disturbance. Next on the list is this Alilo bunny that I love so much because I don't think I even shared it as much on Instagram stories, but we use it every single day, minimum three times a day because Scott needs his sound machine to fall asleep. Usually when I researched about getting babies to nap easier, there was a lot of talk about getting a white noise machine, but we just used his Alilo Bunny because it was sent to us and it's so easy and convenient to use and it already has different sounds on it. You can play nursery rhymes on it, you can play sleepy songs in it, and Scott just became so used to their sleepy songs. So they have white noise on it, which automatically transitions into like another sleepy lullaby, stuff like that. So every single nap time, we turn on his alalo bunny to the sleepy music and sometimes when i'm still breastfeeding scott and we turn on the white noise he's like <sighs> like it really makes him fall asleep it's like part of his sleep cues and i really really enjoyed using it because sometimes when we aren't in the sky pod like for example when i'm in my mom's house and i bring the alalo bunny and scott needs some sort of entertainment he's being fussy or whatever and it's not time to sleep then we can also use the other settings of the alalo bunny like it can tell you a story it can play nursery rhymes and other things like that it also has its ears that light up and so scott really likes to look at different things that light up or different things that make sounds and stuff like that so if you're thinking about something that you can really really make a lot of use out of then i highly recommend getting the alalo Little bunny as well. Okay, next up, beauty naman tayo. Not anymore Scott's toys. This is something that I love using. You guys know that when it comes to eyeliner, I do not like using like pen eyeliners or liquid eyeliners or gel eyeliners. I feel that pencil eyeliners are the easiest way to go, especially for the type of makeup look that I like to do, which is kind of like a smudgy eyeliner look. Let me go closer so you guys can see this is kind of how I like to apply my eyeliner it's very smoky it's very soft and the eyeliner that I'm using now is the first gel eyeliner from Mersey and it's like a pen eyeliner but it's gel here so you just twist it I don't have to keep sharpening it with the pencil eyeliners that I used to use I have to keep sharpening it and sharpening it this one is in a gel consistency so it really glides on super duper easily and then I just get a brush and kind of smudge it out so that it's very soft it's very blended out it's very smoky and this is the effect and I really really have been loving this so far it is in the color Dutch brown which I think is a lot more natural than if you get black and I will put links down below to where you can get it I got mine online there was a sale three for one or something like that and I just hoarded because it, it runs out so fast because I use it like every time I wear makeup this is what I use right now with the makeup look that I like using I would definitely really go for eyeliner and lip or cheek tint I feel like it's the easiest two things to have to make you look instantly glammed up and when it comes to lip tint this is another favorite of mine it's been out of the market for a long time now in fact I don't even know if I've said this before in another favorites video of mine but this is definitely another favorite it is the BLK Wonder Melon lip tint I have on a different lipstick as base and then I just put this in the middle and it just makes your lips look like you sucked on a cherry or you had a little bit of wine it gives you that deep red kind of more mature but glammed up but soft and subtle flirty you know so many different adjectives to describe it but I really like how it looks like this is what it looks like on my lips now and I have really been enjoying using it lately. When it comes to moisturizer, I try out so many different brands of skincare, as you guys know. But when I was pregnant, I really ditched everything to go with something more basic, natural, good ingredients. I'm sure it's gonna work, no nonsense. And I discovered this one. This is the Ultra Facial Oil-Free Gel Cream from Kiehl's. I used to use the 
the white version of this, which isn't oil free. But I really enjoy using this now because now that we're just at home and it kind of gets really hot at home, you're moving around, taking care of a baby, and you know, it gets really sweaty and oily. This one is really good because it keeps my face feeling fresh and matte and not too sticky. There are a lot of different moisturizers that I've tried that just feel so thick on the skin. I feel like it's not bagay for the day, but this one is definitely bagay for the day. I don't need to put primer on top. I don't need to mattify my face. If I just wear this alone and put sunblock on top, I'm good to go. So if you guys are looking for a good day moisturizer, then definitely do give this a try. Okay, now if you guys follow my vlogs, then you will know that I have recently been into eating oatmeal every single morning. Again, my savory oats. I use bone broth to mix with the oatmeal so it becomes a little bit salty. And then I top it off with fried egg and some fish floss because I don't eat pork. But if you guys eat pork, then you can try also topping it with some pork floss. It's really, really good, guys. I really loved serving them in a wooden bowl. These wooden bowls I got from Addicted to Homes and I will put a link down below to their Instagram shop. Thank you so much, Kim, for sending them over. I really enjoy using them. I think when we first moved into the Sky Pods, Slater and I were just using these plain white Corel bowls and plates and everything because I just wanted everything to be practical, minimalistic, simple. But now that we're always at home and we're having all our meals at home, it does feel good to use like different kinds of plates, different kinds of cutlery, like to just mix and match. Depending on your mood, it does really make a difference when you present your food a certain way. It makes you like want to eat it more. It makes preparing your food a little bit more fun. And so these wooden bowls are definitely still within the minimalist look of the Sky Pot. It's still bagay and I really enjoy using it for my breakfast oatmeal bowls. Okay, another favorite of mine is a Scotty favorite. This is the second to the last. Um, it is Scotty's play office. I don't know what it's called, but I call it his office because every time he sits on his chair and plays with this activity mat, he's so in the zone. He loves it so much. In fact, every time like I move the chair and he hears the rattle, he starts looking for his office everywhere, which I feel is so, so cute. Sometimes when I take Scott to my mom's house, I will bring the office with me because in the car, like if it's too malayo, he gets really, really fussy. So when he hears the rattle, like he's just so in the zone, he can't be bothered with anything else. He just completely forgets that he's annoyed and he just keeps playing with his office, which I think is so good. If you guys have a baby that's about Scott's age, I highly recommend this as well. You can take out the activity mat and use it to feed Scott, or it's a great way to help him like sit up when he still needs a little bit of assistance, but you want to keep your hands free. So I highly recommend that you get this office too. Again, I will try to find links and put it down below. I think that the gray one, which is similar to ours, is already sold out, but they also have a red one and a blue one that I really, really like as well. So I'll put those down below so you guys can check it out too. Last but not the least, guys, this is usually reserved for my book favorite, but unfortunately, I was not able to finish any books this month. I know, I know, it's so weird. Like, zero books talaga. This is something that I have been doing a lot lately to get myself in more of a Christmas mood. It's hard to be in a Christmas mood right now because a lot of us can't be with our families and we can't really go to the mall or experience all these lights or go to the park and everything like that. But what I've been doing is, I think starting last month, I've been playing Christmas songs on Spotify and just playing it wherever, when I'm playing with Scotty or when I'm making breakfast or when I'm doing my makeup or skincare or whatever. Kahit konti makes me feel like you know, hey, it's that time of the year again. And I also am preparing gifts early this year so that, you know, it's gonna sink in slowly that Christmas is coming and it's a time to be merry and festive. And so the, the favorite of mine, my last favorite, is a Spotify playlist called Christmas Coffee House. And I love the selection of the songs. I love um, all the covers. And I highly recommend that if you guys are looking for Christmas songs, it's not your typical classic music, then check this out. It's very calming, it's very soothing, perfect for background music, and it will really make you feel the Christmas spirit. All right, guys, those are all my favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. It's really gonna help my channel a lot. Please don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what other things you guys wanna see from the Sky Fam that's not just Scotty. But of course, I will try to include Scotty in my next video if he's up for it. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one, don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Mwah.